In this demonstration, we're now going to look at authenticating with Azure and creating a resource group by the use of a service principle. So first of all, let's just head over to the Terraform site. We'll show you where you can find further information on service principles. So on Terraform, if we go ahead and head over to the Docs section and go to Providers on the left-hand side, select Azure, and if you scroll down, you'll see there are a number of options. In fact, on the left-hand side, you've got authenticating via the Azure CLI directly, authenticating via a service principle, which is what we're going to do today using a shared account, or you can also authenticate via managed service identity as well, which is a new service in Azure. But we're going to focus on authenticating using a service principle. And these instructions kind of walk you through it, but we're going to go ahead and show you directly how you go about doing that. The first thing to be aware of is a service principle is tied to an application registration in Azure. So if we go back into Azure, head over to Azure Active Directory on the left hand side. So if we scroll, we should see Azure Active Directory. And if you scroll down, you'll see App Registrations. If we select that one, and on the right hand side, if I view all my applications, obviously I've already created a Terraform login for the previous demos we did. So you can see I've got one there called SL-Terraform. And I could go in here and create my new application registration and then assign it a role if I wanted to, but I'm going to do it via the CLI, which is much more efficient. To begin, simply select this PowerShell Cloud Shell icon at the top, which actually allows you to use PowerShell or the CLI. And if you get prompted, uh, make sure you go into Bash for this example. I could hit this drop down and choose PowerShell as an option, but I'm actually going to use the Bash option first of all. And then to create our service principle, let's go ahead and type in AZ AD, so for Azure AD, SP for service principle, create for RBAC. You can tab through and it will auto-complete for you. Do note though, it is case sensitive. Uh, give it a name, so we will call this one, let's see, Terraform Temp. So I'm going to delete this one when we are done. Give it a role. So we'll give this one the contributor role to the subscription. And the scope. will be subscription, subscriptions to be precise. And then we just need to go ahead and paste in our subscription there, which you can get if you type in subscriptions in Azure. Let me select my subscription there. And then I've got my subscription ID at the top, I'll copy that. I'm going to paste that here. And end with a quote and hit enter. And that'll take, you know, about 10 seconds or so to create. Don't worry if you get these retry and role assignment creations, that's perfectly normal. And that's created. Now you can see there, we've got an app ID, a password and tenant. Those are really important. So we're going to go ahead and grab these. Let's copy them. And I'll just put them in notepad for now because we will need those a little bit later on. And if we want to, if we go back over to Azure AD, I can close this down now. We should see our application registration. We have Terraform temp there. So when you're done, if you're worried about, you know, this might be out there, you can go in here and simply delete it when you are done. Now the way this works is let's first of all go and create our Terraform file. So we'll go over to Visual Studio Code. You can use any editor you want, or you can simply do this all in Notepad. So I'm gonna create a new folder. So I'll call this one module five in my example. And all of this code will be on the GitHub repo, which is linked in the course material. So don't worry if you're trying to copy things down from screen, just go ahead and grab it from GitHub there. 
But I'm in a new folder here, you know, module five, and we'll create a brand new file. And we'll just call this, uh, let's see, we'll give this main.tf, which is how I like to start off the, the main file that we're going to use. And we'll also create another file called variables.tf. And one more file called terraform .tf vars. And you may be wondering what all these are for. Well, don't worry that it'll all kind of come together as we go. Well, let's start off in our main.tf file. Now, the first thing we need to do is authenticate with Azure. So we need to declare our provider, which you do with provider, quote, Azure RM. So that's saying, okay, I'm going to authenticate against that provider. And I put in my curly braces and I need to provide all that information that we got, not just from the service principal, but the specific constructs that we need for you know Terraform to communicate with Azure. Now I'm going to cheat a little bit and just paste in the skeleton of this for you. So we can see, let me just clean things up a little bit, that we've got a subscription ID we need, client ID, client secret, and a tenant ID. And you'll get those all from that service principle you created plus the subscription ID. So if we go back over to the notepad file we had and we can just copy this in there for now and what you're going to want to do is take things like the password that is your client secret so you're going to want to put that into client secret your tenant ID you have here which you'll grab that goes in tenant ID and then your app ID this is your app registration ID that's the client ID we'll paste it in there and then get rid of the rest of this. This is again what came out of the command we ran to get the, the service principal. And then we need to add in our subscription ID, which I'll grab. So if we go over to Azure, select our subscription, and just grab that subscription ID from the top, paste it into the subscription ID, and save that file. And if we just run a Terraform in it first of all so that initializes terraform in the directory and it might download a plugin in this case because we're using the azure rm provider it grabs that and then if i do a terraform plan shouldn't be anything to do you know because there's, there's nothing there now if i go a little bit further i can create my resource so let's check that we can actually do something more meaningful uh, so if i do my resource and again i've got to give it the type which will be Azure RM underscore resource underscore group, and then give it the name, which we will call resource underscore GP. And again, that's the Terraform name. So now I'm gonna give it a name in Azure specifically. So we'll call it Skylines Demo 5. And we have gotta give it a location equals and we will use East US in this case, and we'll give it that tag as well. So tags, curly brace, and then owner equals, we'll put Nick Collier in there. And if we go ahead and save, just uh, hold down Control and S on your keyboard or yeah, the equivalent on the Apple side, or just go ahead and click File Save at the top menu. And one thing we do need to change actually, just the name. You'll notice I had spaces there. Azure will not allow that. So we're just gonna put some dashes in there. Uh, save again. One thing to do is just make sure, if you're ever having problems, just make sure you've saved your files before you you know, do your Terraform plan and apply. And I'll go over to PowerShell this time. And we will head over to that new module. And we will do our Terraform plan at this point. And if our service principle and everything is correct. It will authenticate now, and we can go ahead and do that apply. Confirm we want to create it. And that should be created. We'll go over to Azure, go to our resource groups. And we have Skylines Demo 5 there. And now I will just go back to PowerShell and do Terraform Destroy. Yes to go ahead. 
and that will begin destroying. Now before we tie off on this and move on, let's look at these, you know, this provider that we've got here. We don't really want to keep this in our code, and this is very, very important again, because if you check this into GitHub and it's not in your ignore file, then you're going to, you know, pretty much expose that secret to the, you know, to the entire world for you. So what you want to do basically is put it in a TF vars file and make sure this is part of your ignore, your git ignore if you're going to be checking code in that way. Or if you're going to put this anywhere, just make sure you don't put this TF vars file there. So what I've done, if we go back over to variables, is let's take that provider, we'll copy it from main, so we'll take that provider first of all, we'll put it in variables, let's paste it in there, and I'm going to take these secrets, I'm going to copy those for right now, I'm going to put them in TFRs, so again I've copied the data, I haven't copied the provider yet, but you'll see where this is going shortly. And now what I want to do is instead of putting subscription ID and variables.tf, I'm going to change this. I'm going to delete this section and I'm going to put dollar parenthesis var.subscription ID. And you see it'll auto populate as you do these. Same for the next one. So I'm going to do dollar var.client ID. Don't forget your quotes at the end of these. And same for this one. Dollar var dot client secret. And the last one. Dollar var dot tenant ID. Okay, so I've declared that provider, but I do have to declare the variables themselves. So I'm going to paste in a section here, and what you'll see is I've got a variable. I'm saying there's a variable called subscription ID, a variable called client ID, a variable called client secret, a variable called tenant ID, and you can put your you know subscript uh, descriptions in here for those if you want to. Then I've got our TF vars file that we still need to edit. These are the variables that are going to be passed in. And what I need to do is just remove that curly brace there, kind of spread these out so they're a little bit easier to read. Just improve the format in there a little bit. And these are our secrets. Now, again, this is the file we do not want to give out. What's essentially happened now is when we run Terraform against main.tf, well, it actually runs against the folder. We don't need the provider in here because we've declared it elsewhere. It's going to want to you know, build this resource, but it's going to get the provider from the variables.tf file. We could even take this entire uh, section we have here and just create a new .tf file called providervars.tf, which we can do a little bit later. But essentially, it's going to grab, say, okay, the provider configuration is here. There's some variables in here that are going to be passed in. I get them from tf vars, which is where my secrets are stored, which again, I'm going to ignore when I check this into git. And essentially, my entire configuration is a combination of main.tf and variables.tf with the variables coming in from tf vars. So let's go ahead, make sure we've saved all those files, just go through them, control s, control s, just to make sure. We'll head over to PowerShell and run that. And you can see, because we destroyed the previous one, it's now ready to create a new resource. We can do an apply. And away we go, and that is created. But now I don't have that you know, authentication string in the middle of my main.tf file. And with that, that concludes this demonstration. And now we can build upon that and start to create our virtual machines in the subsequent modules.